Alright guys, so today we are going to be replacing this alternator, got the new one there, and I've also got a new fan for it that we're going to be replacing today. Alright, so uh, we've already got the battery disconnected, now what we've got to do, I'll go ahead and take this air cleaner off, I'm going to get this belt off, unplug this, unplug that, well, undo that, and then there's two bolts that hold it on to the bottom. All right, we got the old one out. Now we're just gonna have to get this blade off. I hope I have the right Allen key. And uh, we're gonna separate these two pieces because we're gonna use this section right here that mounts to the, you know, the little oil filter pulley contraption thing. And uh, use this section from the new one that I got right here. Nice and shiny. I wish I could use this pulley, but or not the pulley, but this cooling fan, but I can't. Look how nice this thing looks. All right, it's a eight mil Allen key. So I'll go ahead and try to put like a little pipe on here or something to give me some better leverage and then we'll break this nut. Oh man, this thing's pretty nasty on the inside. Huh. Alright, so next thing I need to do is separate these two, so undo these four bolts right here. And uh, I've never taken one of these apart, so I'm not sure what I want to find inside, so we'll see. Oh, <laughs> I just realized I'm looking at this thing thinking like, oh man, I got to clean all this up, got to grease this, and then I'm just like, wait, this thing is junk. I'm, this whole unit, see, this is all I, this is all I need to reuse. So there's like, you know, nothing actually, yeah, that I got to clean, except for, oh, you know what, 
Okay. Well, now I'll go ahead and get this all cleaned up because it looks pretty ugly. But, uh, yeah. Alright, I'm going to do a little reveal of the mount after I cleaned it. Boom. Look how shiny this thing is. I went to town with the metal polish. But um, after I, what is I used paint stripper, got all that spray paint off with the scotch fry pad. And then I shined it up and I think this looks great. So, what I want to go ahead and do now, I want to get this fan off. Uh, steal some of the hardware off here as well as the bearing that's inside there if it's the same uh, If not, I'll just put the same one that was in here. Just lube it up But right, yeah, so new bearing comes out three little bolts right here and then just bolt it on here All right, all I've got to do now is actually bolt these together Throw the fan on and throw it on the car Make sure you don't accidentally flip this upside down without holding this in place because now it fell out and uh, I'm gonna have to try to get those brushes lined up with that right there so wish me luck all right got it back in wasn't that hard to give you a quick explanation you see this hole right there um, you can get a pick and from the inside you you know push your f or push the springs down that hold the brushes up with your finger and then you slide a pick in so it holds the springs down and once you've got everything in place you slide it out so the springs apply pressure to the brushes again but it's in so now we just connect the two halves Oh, big setback. Um, broke the brushes in here because this wasn't in properly. And whenever I was putting this on, it actually kind of pushed down into where it's supposed to be crushing the brushes. So I'm either going to have to try to find a brush set or a whole new alternator. All right, alternators all put together. Better cradle this, don't want to drop it. Wouldn't that be bad? Close the door. Okay, it is freezing today, like 20 something degrees. Thank you, Texas. But uh, we're gonna get this done because I gotta go to work tomorrow and I wanna get it done now. All right, as you can see, I've covered everything up with the, uh, with the blanket. Alternators under there. Because it's still sprinkling, but uh, let's get this on. And uh, make sure you got lock washers on these. Or at least I'm pretty sure they're supposed to have lock washers on. bolted down now um oh and by the way i did go ahead and tie or after i tightened this i went ahead and marked it with a red paint marker um you can see right there just so i know if this thing uh, comes loose but uh yeah now i'm gonna go ahead and put the belt on
on. Um, if you don't mind, I want to go take a break so I can regain sensation in my hands. All right, let's get these uh, connections popped on. Pop. Oh, whoops. Pop. Pop. All right, now to fill her up with some gasoline because I know she's out. One second. Yay. All right, so this is the high dollar setup on how to get gas in your car, in your Corvair, when it's raining outside. All right, let's, uh, let's gas, gas these carbs up. Frozen air cleaner is on. That's good because, I mean, now it's just a cold air intake. <laughs> Alright, so battery is measuring at 11.9. So we're going to go ahead and start it up. And if this works, then it should be charging and we'll, we'll know. Alright, so about uh, four pumps of gas and a little bit of tapping the pedal. Got it running. Let's uh, hook up the voltmeter real quick and see if she's charged. Well, that's funny. They swapped brightnesses. This one used to be really bright, and that one used to be dim. Now this is really bright, and that one's dim. Interesting. Okay. Alright, guys, so what do you think? Does it work? 14.6, baby. We are charging. And I'm running the headlights right now. So that's great. I ran for a little bit, but you can see that little red mark is still where it's supposed to be. I'll make sure to be checking it as I'm driving it. But uh, tires are coming in um, tomorrow, I think. What day is today? They come in on the 12th. And uh, I'm not sure... Tomorrow might be slow at work, so I might be able to bring these with their permission, of course, and uh, take these off, get ready for the new ones. But uh, yeah, this alternator looks great on here. I mean, it, it doesn't even look like the same the same mount. But uh, yeah, it's charging, so that's do a quick great. check of the lights, see if any of them got brighter. All right, so it should be dash lights. If I turn it all the way. Uh, this way, right? Yeah. Well, we probably can't see those right now just because it's dark. Oh, but you see, that light did go out. So, uh, you know, that maybe that is a reliable way to tell if your alternator's out because uh, mine was on. But anyways, uh, dome lights on. Which, uh, by the way, this is a new switch I put in here. Uh, old one is right there. I broke it. I um, I was opening up to grease it and everything, but um. What is it? There's a little tang in here, but anyways, I broke it. Ordered a new one, and this one actually is better because the when I turn this all the way over here and it clicks, the dome light actually turns on when it's supposed to. So that's good, and um, we'll check the headlights right now. Turn the brights on. That light works. Hey, look at that. They look, um... I can't tell if they're brighter. I don't know if they can get brighter, but uh, they look pretty good. Maybe in the future we can put some halo headlights on there. I think those look kind of cool. Okay. Ugh. Other things we can check. You know, let's just run all the electronics. Let's. Oh. You hear that? They used to be uh, super quiet before. You can never hear it on video, but now you can. Oh, I think I just broke it. So, I don't know if any of this. I honestly don't know what, what what this stuff does. I've never really messed with it. But uh, radio obviously isn't connected to anything. Uh, oh, let's see how loud the horn is. That sounds adorable. Okay. I don't know what else to do, but um, 
<sighs> Alrighty guys, um, that's it for today's video. Uh, super happy, Corvair's charging now. So that's good, we don't have to worry about it running out of battery while we're driving. And uh, make sure you stay tuned because next thing is these tires. All right, thank you for watching and see you later. Dome light turns on.